Hey everyone, Mike Burke here with InsideRealEstatePhotography.com and in this video I'm going to explain why, in my opinion, Final Cut Pro is the best video editing platform for real estate videos. So as you may know from watching my previous videos, historically I've been an Adobe Premiere user, but over the past year I've transitioned into using Final Cut Pro for editing real estate videos and I absolutely love it for several reasons which I'm going to get into in this video. There are multiple features included in Final Cut Pro that are really just suited for real estate video editing. So I realize this might be a little bit of a polarizing topic. You may be attached to whatever editing platform that you're using and that's totally fine. There are many capable and powerful platforms out there. I just feel like Final Cut Pro is almost tailor-made for real estate video editing. For things that we use a lot in real estate videos like speed ramping and things like that, which I'll get into in this video, just makes it so intuitive, it's great. Also, Final Cut Pro is only available obviously on the Mac, so if you're a PC user, it's not gonna be available to you, so that's obviously gonna be a put off for you. So as I mentioned, I've been a long time Premiere user, but it's just been getting stale to me and I've been wanting to get into more of these speed ramp transitions, these things that are very popular these days with real estate videos I'm sure you've seen online and it's really hard to achieve that in Premiere, which is why I was looking elsewhere for another program, but it's $300 and I was hesitant on spending that money, being that I'm already subscribed to Adobe and I pay for that every month, so I have Premiere. So the first thing I did was I went to DaVinci Resolve, which has a free version that's very capable. So I downloaded that, I used that for a few months, maybe, you know, did a few videos on that. And I actually, I like that a lot. It was a little bit hard to get used to. And then finally, I just bit the bullet and bought Final Cut and I fell in love with it almost instantly. I, it took me a little bit of time to get acquainted with it, but all these things that I was trying to do on the other platforms now was so much more easy to achieve and more intuitive, etc. So in this video, I just wanted to break down the reasons why I think Final Cut is the best real estate video editing platform out there. I think it's become the most popular one. These guys that are doing these high-end homes, these high-end videos that you see a lot online, they're all using Final Cut for these reasons. So if you're not familiar with Final Cut, I just wanted to introduce you to these features and these reasons why a lot of real estate video makers and editors have gravitated towards Final Cut. So with all that said, let's now jump into Final Cut and take a look at what it can do and why it's cool for us as real estate photographers slash videographers. Before we continue on with this video, I just wanna share a quick word about our sponsor, PixelMob. Are you looking for a professional real estate photo editor to help lighten your workload? Are you having a hard time finding a good and reliable editor or don't even know where to look for one? Or maybe you just personally struggle with editing and can't seem to achieve the professional end result that you've been looking for? If any of this sounds like you, you should definitely check out PixelMob. PixelMob helps take the guesswork out of finding a reputable editor and connects you with the right people to do the job. PixelMob is an awesome website that links you up with available editors capable of doing just about any sort of real estate photo editing you can imagine, including HDR blending, flambient, virtual staging, object removal, etc. The best part of all is that PixelMob vets all the editors prior to allowing them onto their platform to ensure that they can indeed deliver on what they say they can. I also really like that there's a peer review system where photographers can rate the editors from one to five stars, giving you further tools and helping you choose the best editor to work with for your particular job. The editor also does not get paid until you are satisfied with your order. If you've ever been in the search for an editor and tried a few out, then you know full well there's been a, such a sore need for something like PixelMob in our industry, and I really think a lot of us real estate photographers can benefit from this service. It's completely free to sign up, and if you use my link, pixelmob.com IREP, you will receive $5 in credit towards your first order, so there's no reason to at least not give it a try. You'll also find that link down in the description of this video. All right, so jumping here into Final Cut, just some general like sort of workflow things that I like about this platform, this program, is just I find it's, you know, just faster as far as editing, general editing and getting my clips into the timeline. So here you can see we have the clip bin here and, you know, I have all these clips. These were, uh, you know, shot in log. That's why they look a little flat. This little window here, you can scrub. And this took some getting used to initially because it's different than other platforms, but I find now I'm so fast at just assembling my edit down here in the timeline because I can just kind of go through these clips and I, I just use a scrubber and I can just go, okay, you know, say I want the clip to start there, hit I, set an endpoint here as you can see, now they have this yellow box. 
And now I can just scrub forward and all right, the movement stopped there. So I can kind of just now set a, hit O and set an out point. So now I have this section of the clip where you can just, you know, drag it into the timeline or, you know, you can hit a key. There's hot keys to put, you know, those into the timeline. I'm not gonna get too detailed here, but so yeah, you know, it's just, it's just fast to, you know, go through and, you know, scrub through here and set your in and outs and just assemble your clips into the timeline in a fast and timely manner. Other thing is, you know, like I mentioned the magnetic timeline. So if I grab, say, just grab a few clips here and just drag them into the timeline. In general, this is like a sort of unique feature of Final Cut that some people don't like. <laughs> and it took a little getting used to for me as well. But now I absolutely love it. Again, just can make things so much faster and easier. And that is, you know, this magnetic timeline where you can just, you know, rearrange clips in any way, shape or form. It's just so fast and easy. And whereas like, you know, in other programs like Premiere, if I did that, it would just overwrite those clips. And, you know, you can't just swap clips around so easily like that. So now, you know, oh, that's, this clip would be better before that clip. And, and it's just so easy to rearrange clips in the timeline. It's just so instantaneous and easy. So that's another little feature that I've grown to love about Final Cut. So as you probably heard me talk about in other videos, I'm in love with efficiency. Anything that makes my workflow faster, it saves me time. I'm all about it. So here are these things that I'm touching on, this general functionality here in Final Cut is that it's more efficient to me, it's faster saves me time over say, you know, Premiere or DaVinci Resolve, these other platforms. So just off the bat, just general functionality, from a general functionality standpoint, I like Final Cut better already. All right, let me delete these clips and let's get into more of the specific things that I think are geared towards real estate video editing that I think are just incredible and why so many real estate videographers really love and have gravitated towards Final Cut. And really the main reason for this is speed ramping. <laughs> I know it's such a popular trendy thing now in, you know, real estate videos, but if you want to know how these guys are getting these cool speed ramp transitions and all that, it's all done in Final Cut. And you could, you could of course achieve this in other video editing platforms, but not this easily and not this sort of intuitively. So I have these two clips here. They're kind of just forward moving clips that, you know, they're not really, you know, I wouldn't really transition these two clips. They don't really make sense, but I just want to illustrate this here. So I have this, you know, clip walking here and then, and there's a dude walking around outside there. Just ignore that. <laughs> and uh, into this other hallway clip. So what I want to do is, you know, speed ramp into this clip. And this is also cool. There's scrubbing functionality. You can kind of test out what it's going to look like just by, you know, scrubbing back and forth which helps you audition these kind of clips too, is for, you know, to get an idea before you do the work of applying a speed ramp, you can kind of see, okay, this will work out nicely. These will flow nicely together. So how this is done, which is pretty simple. If I hit the R key on my keyboard, I'll get this, uh, what you can get here, range selection tool. And you could sit, you can scrub and say, okay, I want, you know, I want it to be kind of normal speed. And then from here on, I want it to speed ramp. So I'm just clicking and dragging here and I want to speed ramp it and I want to keep speed ramping it until maybe about here. And then I want it to slow back down again. So now we can select this range here and apply a ramp to this. So this is what's unique here about Final Cut, this range selection tool. That's not available in Premiere or DaVinci Resolve, at least not to my knowledge, where you can go across two clips and speed ramp them together you would have to do each clip individually in those other programs and it takes more time. You know, it's not as nearly as efficient as this is. So this is this key functionality here that real estate video people love. So once you have your range selected, you can just simply go to this little timer tool here, which is like speed controls. You go to fast and you have these default settings here, you know, two times, four times, eight times or 20 times, or you can go to custom and set a custom speed. I usually go in here and use one of these to see how it looks. And if I need it faster or slower, I'll just adjust that. So I'm going to go to eight times. So you can see what it did here. If I play this back. So that looks pretty cool already. Although it's not really ramping up and down as smoothly as I would like it to do. So there are some functions here that you can manipulate to make it do that. 
And this is also what's cool about Final Cut. Here we go again here that I have never seen this functionality in any of those other programs. Here you'll see these bars on top of the clip. And this is the speed ramp here. This is kind of, you know, so this is normal speed. The green area is on the end. This gray area here is like, it's it's ramp, it's like easing, it's like sort of the ease in of, to the ramp. And then here, this section that's like purple is where it's really doing the ramp and then ramping back down. And then again, easing off back to normal speed. We can grab these little handles here. And I do this for every speed ramp. And by, by grabbing and dragging and just filling this, er basically erasing this purple and just dragging these in all the way. This is just making it ease in. So all this is doing is further smoothing out the speed ramp so it's more gradual and rolling it off so it's just a nice smooth ramp up and down. So the other thing you can do here also to increase the smoothness is like increase this section of ease in here. And this is what I typically do. I just grab this and then I'm gonna pull this back all the way to the beginning. So now it's just easing in this whole way to the ramp. And again, I'll extend this ease out here, over here to kind of equal that a little bit. So now we should have a much smoother ramp up and ramp down than we did previously. So now I'll play this now, we can watch this now. And wow, beautiful. So now it's a nice gradual roll up and roll out of the speed ramp and it looks phenomenal. Now you can get the idea here of how these guys are doing that in these like speed rampy trendy videos that are out nowadays. This is exactly what they're doing to achieve that. And there's also one awesome other key functionality here to really sell this effect in Final Cut and I'll show you that now. So one of the other awesome and more unique features of Final Cut here and which is very suited to real estate photographers is the ability to add motion blur to this to make it look you know, even more sort of realistic and, you know, and sell it a lot, a lot more and make it look, you know, cooler. <laughs> so if I go up here to, it's in the titles, I don't, a lot of effects in Final Cut are under the titles. It's kind of weird, I don't know why. But uh, anyway, I have this uh, Motion Blur Pro here, here. It's just this dude, Brian Nagel or something. Um, if you just, if you just search, uh, yeah, here's his name right here, Ryan, Ryan Nagel. If you just search Ryan Nangle Motion Blur Pro Final Cut Pro, you'll get you'll get it up, and it's free. Um, there's also Motion VFX; they have a free one too. This is actually free, and Motion Blur. It's a free plugin, so uh, another you know free option. So one thing I also want to interject here, which is an advantage about Final Cut, is that whatever it is about the platform, maybe they make it easy for creators out there to create effects and plugins and things like that for the platform, more so than any other platform. There's a lot available out there, really high quality plugins and effects, like this site, Motion VFX, that I'm just showing you now with the motion blur. If you go on there, there's tons of other great effects. There's ways to do 3D tracking where you can like outline a property in like a drone video and things like that. I've done that in tons of videos. It's just, it's super cool. Another reason why I love Final Cut for real estate videos. That's another great example. So just a tons of effects and creators out there making great effects, high quality effects for Final Cut. Anyway, to apply this, you simply just grab this. I always use the moderate one, by the way. Extreme is just too much. Uh, so I use, I use moderate motion blur. This one usually is what I use. And you simply just drag it in on top of your clip. So I just want it over this purple area where the speed ramp is, just drag it back. So if I, if I scrub over this now, you can see, you can see how it's blurring. You can see how it's blurring it, it's applying motion blur. As it, as it ramps up, it gets faster. It gets blurry and blurrier up until the point where it changes over and it's blurry here again until, and it ramps itself back down to not being blurry anymore. <laughs> so if you play that back, you can see it in full effect. So it just adds that little bit of extra sauce there to the speed ramp and really sells the effect and gives it that natural motion blur and it makes it look that much cooler. So yeah, how simple was that just to drag this down and apply the motion blur? How simple was all of this just to make, create this speed ramp and you know, add the motion blur. So with, within, within a few seconds really, 
We've achieved this awesome effect and made a really cool transition here in our video. So this speed ramping functionality that I just demonstrated here to you is the meat and potatoes of why so many real estate videographers, photographers, whatever, have fallen in love with Final Cut and gravitated towards it because of this. This is like sort of the nucleus of it. The other reasons I mentioned in this video are supplementary to that. And of course they add to it, you know, such as, like I said, the effects, just the speed of the editing, et cetera, et cetera. These are all reasons why I love it beyond this, but this is the real, you know, like I said, nucleus of why specifically in the real estate photography world, why so many people love this platform. So just to illustrate this in action, I'm gonna leave you here with a short video I edited recently in Final Cut. It's only about a minute and a half long. So check that out. I did it in sort of a fast paced, trendy style with all the speed ramps and everything. That may or may not be your style. You may or may not like that style of video. I don't do all my videos in that style. Of course, it's not gonna be suitable for every client, but I have been doing them here and there for certain you know, projects. So I'm gonna leave you with this and I'll see you on the other side. All right guys, so that's it for this video. If you're interested in seeing more in-depth videos on editing real estate videos in Final Cut, please let me know, I'd love to know. Like maybe for instance, if you wanted an in-depth look at, at how I edited that video I just showed you or something like that, I would love to know what kind of content you guys wanna see here. If Final Cut is something you're not interested in learning about or seeing more about, you know, let me know that too. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Also, please take a look down in the description below. I got links down there to PixelMob, the sponsor of this video. If you're looking to outsource your editing to an editor, they're a great resource to find one. Also down there, I got links to editing practice packs, sky replacement pack that I've created, Photoshop actions and presets, a whole lot of great resources down there. So check that out. Thanks again so much for watching this video and I'll see you again soon on the next one.